2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Indiana Pacers. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. The backcourt pair for them, Halliburton and Brown. Turner is out there with Walker. And it's Nora in at the three, the small four. One for the Celtics. The forwards for them, Tatum and Porzingis. The point in off guard are Brogdon and Brown. And it's MP in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. And the Pacers start off with the ball. Now, Halliburton passes it to Nora. He takes it in. And it's MP with the rebound. Brown kicks to Brogdon. Up top, Tatum. On the wing, MP. Five to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off from deep. Tatum no good. Last game for Boston, they picked up the W against Washington. And finished off by Walker. When Jarris Walker stuffs it, we feel those pucks over here. And then against Halliburton. Brown the pass to Tatum. Misses the three. Pass to Brown. Porzingis with the block. That reach of Porzingis was just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle shooters. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. Here is something great from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before joining the league. And Walker with the size and strength to straight up move you out of his way. Halliburton against Brogdon. Over Halliburton. Here's MP. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Brown against Brown. Brown dishes to Turner. And it's in there. Exceptional skills for Turner down in the paint. This guy, I think, has the potential to be a dominant player inside for a lot of years. Now, here's Brogdon. The pass to Brown. Nice ball movement by Boston. Unloads from 13. Again, Brogdon missing. Pacers leading by four. Mora, the pass to Halliburton. Pass to Nora. He kicks it to Brown. Fires the three. And Boston with the rebound. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. You know, those road games are tricky, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. Now, here's Brown after Malcolm Brogdon's miss. Here's Turner. Shots good. Brown making the play. Boy, tough trying to match Turner's intensity. I mean, once he's committed to scoring the ball, you're not stopping him. It's Brogdon on the wing. He's covered by Halliburton. The 
kick out to Brown. Shoots over Brown. Here's MP over in the corner for Zingas. Outside Tatum. Sinks the three-pointer. You got to D up Tatum from deep. He's got that kind of range. Pacers leading by three. Here's Halliburton. Almost, but it rolls out. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. In the corner, Tatum with it. Shot from 16. Second shot opportunity. MP, no good. He looked uncomfortable there. Making plays at the rim, not his strength. Poked away. Walker. Porzingis with the block. Tatum with it. Picked up by Turner. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Pacers. Take a break. Well, I Take like their assertiveness Two inside. Seconds. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away. But the inside area is their territory. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. A young man. Celtics trail by nine. On the court for the Pacers as our second quarter gets underway. They've got Halliburton. Knocker out there with Turner. And it's Nemhard in at the two guard. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Persingas has got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Celtics. Halliburton passes to Turner. Pass to Nemhard. Rebounded by the Celtics. MP's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And Tatum hammers it home. The athletic prowess of Tatum on full display. What a move to the bucket. That's the Halbert. With the teardrop, that's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Brown feeling out a bit on the pass to Pritchard. Kicks it to MP. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Halliburton. A shot by Pritchard, no good. You know, Greg, one thing you got to admire about Miles Turner is how sensational a shot blocker he is. Every year among the leaders in the NBA. And Kevin, such a dependable defensive anchor. Someone that just reads shooters well, knows when to go after the block. And rebuilding teams, Clark, are going to ride their young prospects. But talk about the importance of having those sage veterans on that roster and their guidance. Kevin, I don't think you can overstate it. It's critical. It's imperative. I mean, imparting that understanding of what it takes to be a professional and doing it with words and example is so valuable and so part of what veterans offer to young players and to good teams. The first one falls. That one is no good. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. They've only given up one point in the second quarter. That one coming at the line. Count that bucket. I like the quality of shots Tatum takes. I mean, concentrates on taking good shots within his range. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. Bangs home the trifecta. And the Pacers lead by six. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. A nice shot by Tatum. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off the six. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Pass to Nora. The feed to Turner. 
And here's Halliburton. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Chicago. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass. All around, just his effort level was off the charts. What timing from Turner. I mean, that's a big part of the blocking shots. Reading the shooter and then timing it perfectly to send that shot in reverse. The Celtics making a switch here. Ogden's checked in. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, Pacers leading by five to the wing on the left. Here's Nora. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Nora's got four points now in the quarter. A clean pass that time from Halliburton to a wide open teammate. This smart ball movement there. Rocked in the pass to Tatum. Now here's Porzingis over Walker. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Again against Halliburton. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Mora, the pass to turn. Four on the clock. And shot on the way. No good off the back of the rim. Celtics trail by eight. Passes it to Tatum. Brown right side. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Pacers have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Here's Nora. Porzingis with the block. At the elbow, it's MP. And he gets the bucket. MP's got his second basket. Jason Tatum scores, but also creates for his teammates a sign of his continuing growth as a player. And it's Halliburton penetrating. And no good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. The Celtics have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Launches a three. A three from Tatum. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. The point in off guard of Brogdon and Brown. The forwards for him, Tatum and Porzingis. And it's MP in at the center. That's the Boston Five. First free throw is good. Look, you've got to give Brown a lot of credit for his growth as a shooter. That wasn't something he did when he first got to the league. He put in a lot of work. He shoots it well from the floor and line. And Brown drops them both. And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. And that will be the first game of five straight at home. Brown, no good. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. Got that one up quick. Brown's got four points in the quarter. Brown has a nice shot repertoire. Clearly, the mid-range doesn't give him much trouble. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Pacers are forming chemistry. Tyrese Halliburton said in recent years, they were saying the locker room was a quiet place, not many conversations. We've tried to impact the culture and create a different atmosphere. It's genuine. We appreciate and love each other. We want to see each other succeed and prove people wrong. Kevin? Yeah, I know you agree with me. They are on their way. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. And it's MP with the rebound. 
MP's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Cotton drives in, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. For Boston, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. Free throw good from Brown. Here's Nora. Pass to Hallibert. And he uses the glass on the lane. Halliburton's got four this quarter. Halliburton's length really an asset on that play. Hey, Clark, thinking back to that Halliburton for Savonis trade, what are your thoughts? I think it's one of those situations where it was a win-win all the way around, Greg. You think about it. The Kings benefited, the Pacers did. Young players that have stardom in their future. And I think both players are going to be multi-time All-Star. And here's Tatum for three. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton's got his fifth rebound in this one. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Off target with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Logged in against Brown. Logged in the pass to Tatum. Shoots. Walker with the rebound. Pacers leading by seven. Halliburton outside. Rebounded by the Celtics. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. MP kicks to Brown. MP inside. He's against Turner. MP, no good. You know, that's not a great matchup, guys. He forced it against outstanding defense. Halliburton outside. And Turner with the basket on the assist by Halliburton. Turner's got six. Tossing around that 250 LBs. Turner going right through the contact. Now a timeout called by Boston. Clark, here we are looking at Miles Turner, a terrific player. What stands out to you? There are a couple of things. His ability to knock down three-point shots as a big guy. But more than that, his primary attribute to me is the fact he's an outstanding rim protector. Excellent timing, runs the floor, and really protects the basket for his team. The Pacers making a change here. Nemhard's checked in. Here's Brown. Boston again missing. Pacers leading by nine. Halliburton outside. The pass to Nemhard. Indiana moving the ball. Driving to the basket. A shot off that time. Ice D from Porzingis. The Celtics have gone two or seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. Brown outside. Back to MP. Six on the shot clock. Tatum kicks to Brown. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his fourth assist in this one. And, you know, we've seen Brown accept more responsibility over time on offense, including taking these quick shots. Pass to Nora. Driving inside. Great D that time from Tatum. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Brown dishes to Tatum. Shoots it. It's rebounded by Indiana. Halliburton's got his sixth rebound on the night. Mora, the pass to Halliburton. Here's Nemhard. 
passes it to Halliburton. This one for three. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with two seconds. Over the years, we've really seen Tatum elevate his offensive game. Now he's a dynamic, multi-level scorer. And the Pacers call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And so Brown will bring it up for the Pacers on the court for Indiana. In the post, it's Toppin and Turner. The backcourt pair for him, Halliburton and Brown. And it's Walker in at the three spot. And it's Halliburton missing. Celtics trail by three. Brogdon scanning the floor. Over Halliburton. And it's sent back by Turner. Wide up top. Top and covering. To tie it up. And again, Boston with the triple. And it's official. He has come all the way back. At one point, this thing seemed to be out of reach. I did not think they had enough clock to get all the way back. But here they are. And now they've got to feel like they're in control of this thing. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. To take the lead, Toppin pulls it in. The Pacers shooting around 40% from the floor here. Brown the pass to Halliburton. Back to Brown. To the inside. And stolen by MP. Feeds it to White. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Inside. Walker the pass to Toppin. Count the basket. And the Pacers lead by two. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Pass to White. He feeds it to MP. An easy two points on the layup. MP's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course and their attitude never changed Tappen kicks to Halliburton shoots over Brogdon and it's Halliburton missing not sure if he just ran out of gas or what he's been awful ever since the second half started not even been a factor Brogdon the pass to Brogdon MP outside there's the pass to Brogdon for Halliburton. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. And Toppin throws it down. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Oh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. This can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Brogdon against Halliburton. The shot by Brogdon, no good. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Blown opportunity. Halliburton on the wing. Here's Walker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on White. And part of what people like about Walker, free draft, was his defensive skills. But he has the makings of a versatile two-way guy giving good coaching. The first one at the line is good. And so Walker nails both of them. Celtics trail by four. Brogdon outside. Brown finds Brogdon. Back to Brown. 
over Walker. They get the rebound. MP, no good. Pacers leading by four. Looking to get it going. Halliburton. Lost contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Halliburton was hungry for that hoop. Taking the ball right to the rack and drawing the foul. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Pacers. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And they've also played exceptionally well in the paint tonight, taking advantage of their opportunity to work inside. Just five to shoot. Here's Brown. And another miss by Boston. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Here's Brogdon. MP passes to Brogdon. No good again that time. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Derek White. And a change for the Pacers. Wara checked in. Singus passes to MP. Back to Porzingis. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Knowing his team needs a hoop, Porzingis says, I'll get it done. Pacers leading by five. Halliburton with it. Pass to Walker. Down low. Here's Turner, and Turner throws it down. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. First one falls for him. Obi Toppins checked in for Walker. And so he makes both from the line. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. And the Pacers call time here. Now we present our new balance player of the game. Well, you know, it's easy to understand why he's the choice given how well he shot the ball. I mean, just shooting an insane percentage really is what led him to this award. And it's because he was also actively looking to score. He was hunting his shots and was knocking them down. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. Now, he keep praising the defense. He said the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. More on the pass to Brock. The train. And the Pacers can't get it to go. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Oh, Tatum won't be denied. And Tatum has been in these situations before. He's reliable when it comes to stepping up in big moments. And it's Halliburton missing. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. And Tatum continues to evolve before our eyes, showing excellent leadership by knocking down these clutch shots. Mm. Halliburton against Rodden. Has it to more. Halliburton outside. Off target from three-point range. This fires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with 
tough day so far. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Mr. Toppin. Looking to get back on track here. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know how dangerous Halliburton is from the start. Not a guy you want to foul. possession could decide their fate and they have to be careful with the ball Tatum down low got it and that shot brings them to within just one oh you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear cool calm collected and up again against Halliburton seconds left in the fourth quarter. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. I tell you, one of the things I've noticed about Halliburton is his endurance, man. It is off the chart. He's always pushing the pace and really outworking other guys most of the time. He's constantly revving up the motor and taking things up a notch. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by three. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. Not much in the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Six seconds left in the game. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. Second one is good. And both at the line. And it's a five-point game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. Timeout called the Celtics. They're behind by five. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Rodgen finds Tatum. And so the Pacers take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance, 